Rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Here on the left we have a Halo Brute figure. Don't remember which series it's from. Just made by McFarlane. And don't know a whole lot about the character. I just needed a generic sci-fi looking character or creature that I could use in different displays. Um, I'm sure some people are going to you know be able to recognize um, a lot of the figures I'm picking up for uh, different sci-fi setups and I'll get accused of doing crossovers. Hopefully that won't be the case but uh, can't say I, I blame them. I'm not a, not a fan of crossovers so much but um, hopefully if they're you know, in the background or not prom prominently displayed, it uh, won't be so much uh, looking as a crossover. But anyway, I just liked the look of this guy. Um, he does come with a removable helmet, which some of them, some of them have a permanent helmet on. And um, I thought this one was going to have a articulated jaw. There's only a couple that do, so I'm um, going to try to pick those up. Um, and then he comes with that uh, energy grenade there and the uh, uh, blaster. Um, I think they refer to it as a, a rifle, but um, I would call that a pistol. If it doesn't have a stock, I can't really call it a rifle. So, um, yeah, not too bad. It's got a pretty decent, decent articulation and, um, you know, very simple paint scheme. So, um, hopefully he uh, will be distinctive enough looking but uh, not um, stand out too much as being uh, a Halo uh, villain. But um, anyway, uh, next up on the right we have the Marvel Select Sabretooth and funny story, I initially ordered this uh, a couple years ago back when I first started collecting Legends and thinking that he would work really well with um, my Wolverine and we were in the process of moving. I gave them my old address instead of the new address, so it shipped there, and the new renters must have uh, kept it because um, it never got returned, and they, uh, the new renters had a kid who was probably about 10 years old, so I'm sure they just gave it to him, and he was happy as hell to get it. So, um, very nice figure. Um, I am planning on... Uh, the main reason I got it really is to uh, to do a head swap on it with another um, head that I'm going to be getting soon um, to do kind of a um, a kit bash uh, monster. But um, yeah, I really like the look of this figure, and I would say if um, if you prefer your saber tooth to be on the big side. Um, and uh, don't necessarily are that concerned about articulation, um, then I would definitely get this one over the Marvel Legends um, version that has a very similar look, who's uh, really on the skinny side. So um, it's gonna, I'm gonna be kind of torn to not use this one more than the uh, than the Marvel Legends version because. Uh, um, it's very cool. Obviously, it's going to be more limited in, in the articulation uh, department, but um, very, very cool. I uh, like the size and the uh, the sculpt are are really well done on this. So, um, yeah, pretty impressed. And uh, let's see, but got the Halo figure off of eBay. I think I paid like sixteen shipped for that, and um, the saber tooth I got off of Facebook. I think it was. Uh, Christopher Dowd, Dow or Dowd. Um, sorry if I can't remember your name, but um, yeah, I got a really good deal. I think I paid twelve dollars shipped for him, so pretty damn good. I I ended up, you know, losing that first one. I think I paid like twenty between twenty and twenty two shipped on the on the one that was mint on card, and I think it came with a base, but um, don't really care about um, the base. But uh, this is. Very cool figure for, for 12 bucks shipped. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Next up from Jazzwares, we have this Jerry Lane World War Z figure. 
that I picked up at Toys R Us on clearance. I think with tax I paid $8.50. So pretty damn good. I had seen one on eBay for I think eleven fifty shipped or yeah, I think it was like eleven fifty was the cheapest price or twelve dollars shipped, something like that. So um yeah, I didn't really want to pay that much for this figure. It's um got yeah, mediocre articulation, but uh it does come with a few decent accessories. I just needed him for another generic um bystander type uh, character um, for different displays and uh, yeah I don't want to pay more than 10 bucks for figures that fall into that category um, I didn't see the movie I'm not into uh, zombies um, but uh, it was funny I guess a lot of people laughed at this figure because um, it's supposed to be or Brad Pitt plays this character in the movie and it doesn't look anything like Brad Pitt, apparently he uh, would not um, l license his uh, likeness for um, for the figure. And um, so it's kind of good, you know, since he doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like anybody from the movie, he should blend in pretty much to any kind of setup that you want to do. Um, his eyes are pretty derpy, so... Um, I'll probably end up um, trying to fix those, but um, yeah, not not a bad figure for eight bucks. So um, if you're interested, just check your Toys R Us and see if they still have them. They did have um, this. They had two of these and about four of the uh, the zombie medics. So um, especially if you're into zombies, um, they it should be pretty easy to find that guy. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Here from DC Direct we have Monitor. Now I don't uh, collect DC. I'm not a fan of DC characters or uh, comics. But I saw this on Amazon for I think $9 shipped. So uh, again with uh, trying to find generic looking uh, sci-fi characters that I could use in different displays. I thought it would uh, work really nicely. I like the design of the costume quite a bit. Um, and I'll either uh, swap out the head or um, maybe repaint the head. Uh, I was thinking about um, giving him a full beard and uh, maybe you know painting some some hair on him or uh, just make him completely bald. Um, his flesh tone is very pink which I'm assuming that's how the character looks, so um, don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that or or repaint it. I guess if I do a uh, uh, kit bash, it won't really won't be an issue. But um, anyway, uh, the price was right, and um, that's what he looks like in the pack or out of the package on the artwork on the back there. Um, probably not a great figure. I know DC Direct. I think I only have one other um, DC Direct that I got was the Lex Luthor. I think it was also um, a Crisis on Infinite Earth series. Um, and uh, you really only have about um, maybe five or eight points of articulation. So um, they're okay. Um, you're really paying for the paint and the sculpt I, I suppose. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. So if you watched my previous haul video, you would have seen that I got a single mint on card Titanium Man off of Amazon, I believe for $7.50 shipped. And at the same time, I also ordered four more from the same seller um, to get free shipping. And so they came just a little bit after the first one and uh, I don't think I mentioned what I'm going to be using these for as far as customs go i um, gonna keep that uh, under wraps for now um, it, you know I know 
friends in my uh, that I speak to on a regular basis already know what I'm going to be making, but um, got to keep it uh, under wraps because um, I want to kind of document the process. I'm by far, uh, by no means, a great customizer uh, like Billy Mahoney or um, Solid Snake, any of those guys, but um, uh, I do have some artistic ability and uh, these won't be that difficult it's just going to be a little a minor bit of sculpting and uh, um, some repainting um, but um, just kind of wanted to uh, to document that process because I'm getting more and more away from doing haul videos and um, want to start doing uh, customs and um, doing more ACBA so yeah, check that out in the near future. I should be um, doing some uh, some different videos besides hauls here in the near future. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the last item. And finally, this week we have from McFarland Toys, Warriors of the Zodiac, Cancer. This figure, not expecting it to be that articulated, McFarland toys are um, notorious for great sculpt and good paint, but um, suffer in articulation. But I thought it would be a really good um, background character for uh, different sci-fi displays. And I got it on eBay for $11 shipped, so pretty damn good deal. Um, don't know what they were originally going for, but I think this is uh, the best one out of the series. Um, it was a short-lived series. They only did, I think, um, four different characters. Um, I think they were planning to do 12, you know, for all, all the signs of the Zodiac, but um, it just didn't, uh, didn't sell that well, I guess. So they had uh, Cancer, uh, Gemini... Taurus and Aries. Um, the Aries looks pretty decent, so does the Taurus, but uh, the Gemini looks really weird. It's um, some sort of uh, um, slug, or I can't, I can't even, um, I can't even remember what it's supposed to be, but um, it just doesn't look that cool. Uh, anyway, so I am actually going to do a review on this guy since uh, there hasn't been um, one done yet, and. Um, also, I'm going to do a review on that uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, monitor because I haven't seen a review for that either. So um, if you are interested in seeing more of this guy and that uh, DC Direct monitor, definitely check out my reviews. And um, hopefully you liked the video, you share with your friends, hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. That's crispy.